<laughs> How's it going everybody? We're back with some more Melty Blood. We're revisiting the Shiki Tono gameplay video because we're going to talk about the Moon Gauge, which is the new mechanic in Type Lumina. So, this is brand new to the game. Um, in the past, the moon would represent what variation of character you're playing. So there used to be full moon, half moon, and crescent. But now every character has one variation, but in replacement, there's a whole nother gauge, which kind of separates away from the magic circuit, which is your bottom gauge, which we talked about briefly. But today, we have some pretty good concrete, concrete information about the moon gauge. Of course, this isn't the final version of the game, so it is subject to change. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm pretty confident in this information, both type, or uh, type, I'm about to say type French bread. <laughs> French bread um, has shown some stuff of themselves, especially the moon drive and the moon gauge from these gameplay videos we can kind of break down pretty well. I will leave the references I'm talking about in the description. And uh, by the way, my camera did break, uh, so I will get a new one soon. Um, but that's not important. So let's get, let's revisit the gameplay. <laughs> Open the magic circuit, but we're not talking about the magic circuit today. We're talking about this, this beauty right here. So when the game starts, the match round one, you both have your full moon gauge, right? One bar of magic circuit, full moon gauge. We've discussed this before. So how does the moon gauge work exactly? Um, in, so stay with me here. <laughs> there is 11 levels to the moon gauge, unfortunately. Um, here's a picture of it right now, of each level. And unfortunately, if you're trying to play the game at a high level, you're probably going to long-term need to remember how these all look, uh, or at least have like a, a brief understanding of how they look, because they are going to be important to you. Um, yeah, I wish they kind of did this better. 11 levels is a lot, but we'll, we'll break it down. Stay with me here. So, the moon gauge... Right? How do you build the moon gauge exactly? So let's skip around to get to somewhere that they both getting a hit. Okay, perfect. So we got to get past the combo here. Okay, perfect. So right after here. So how does the moon gauge build? So whenever any move lands, so this is any attack, right? Any attack. Both characters build one bar on the first hit of a combo only. So if you are... If you're doing like jump A, 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 air throw, only that first jump A is going to give you a bar or give you one level, right? Um, so if they're mashing, right, and you hit them like in stagger, so like you just get like one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit, um, all those hits are going to build one bar for you or one level. Um, EX moves in general, right? EX moves used in combos build one bar for the attacker. However, right, moon skills, aka EX moves, will take three levels from you. So if you were to whiff a moon skill, uh, you lose three levels, but if you land it, you gain one. So you're at a net loss of two. So if you do a moon skill in a combo, you'll lose two bars. But if you whiff the moon skill, you lose three. So... <laughs> Now this, right? Fatal counter. Let's say the attacker lands a hit, but it's a fatal counter. If you get hit by a fatal counter, um, the attacker builds two bars, two levels, and the person that's getting hit by the fatal counter builds zero. So do not get hit fatal counter because you will build nothing and they'll get two, essentially. Uh -uh. So besides fatal counter, let's... uh, is a full combo. <laughs> So, the next round over, you you keep your moon gauge, right, the same. So, wherever you land on it, when the round ended, will be where you end up, right? So, she's about half, he's a little bit over half. So, let's talk about shielding, right? Shielding is interesting. So, if you land a successful shield, right, um, that means if you, if they throw a fireball and you catch it, and if you cancel into a follow-up, um, and you don't get hit, obviously, like if you do the the launcher or the vanish, you build two levels, right? If you do a failed shield, so this is essentially where 
they you do the shield, they throw no fireball, they do nothing, and you just you get nothing from it, right? Or if you get punished for it, you lose one level. So shielding is gonna be strong, but you can't just mash it over and over again because you're gonna keep losing your moon gauge, which is important because this is your EX moves and your moon drive, which is a very powerful tool, which we'll talk about in a second. So in recap, right? Uh attacks will build one for you, one for them. Fatal counters will build two for you, zero for them. EX moves will build, or you'll be at a net loss of two. Um, if you whiff it, you lose three. Uh, let's talk about the moon drive itself. So the moon drive, let's get to a part where they actually did it. Oh, perfect, right here. So moon drive. Oh, she did heat, not that, not moon drive. Okay, perfect. So Moon Drive, I am, I'm thinking this is going to be one frame. Uh, the pause button, as French bread players would call it. It is a reversal. Um, I'm assuming one frame. We don't know that for sure, but I'm just assuming it's pretty fast. So what happens in Moon Drive? I, I don't know the exact time of it. So like you slowly lose it over time. Um, you cannot build, or excuse me. So in, in Moon Drive right uh moon skills so that your ex moves on top will take two um they take two levels right so if you land a hit uh in moon drive unfortunately you don't build the bar so they just cost two no matter what right on whiff or on hit they take two levels no matter what you cannot build uh moon gauge in moon drive it cannot be increased right and you slowly lose it over time so if you see right here see how slowly moves are loses the moon drive over time i don't know the exact time on all of them because i don't know when you could do them i don't know what level you have to be that i'm not sure but what they do right the moon drive you gain an extra jump and an air dash um regardless of what character you're playing right so like i don't know if any of the game has extra jumps or 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 air dashes right now but you gain one extra jump one extra air dash which is shown in the type moon preview of the mechanic um, which would be in the description below if you want to check that out. But in all, that is what the Moon Gauge does currently. That's what we know about it. We're still missing some information, but hopefully that will break it down for you as best we can. So, of course, subject to change, not the final version of the game. But hopefully this information is useful to you if you want to get a head start on the mechanics. Um, maybe soon we'll have a talk about the magic circuit, the bar below, but for now, that's it for the moon drive. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy and learn some stuff and I'll be back very soon. There's a character preview dropping today. So, you know, your boy is going to be on that one very fast. Take it easy guys. I'll see you in the next one.